Hello friends, welcome to the service now word and from today I am starting a new series that is scenario based interview questions in service now and this is the part first or you can say this is the first video of that series. So sometimes what happened like when we get a interview call, when we get an interview invite, so they are mentioning like you have to ready with your PDI and uh, during interview like uh, interviewer may will may ask you like to share your screen and and just open your PDI and uh, like uh, they will give some task and you need to do on your PDI. So what kind of task they are giving during interview, those tasks I am covering in this series. So let's go to the next slide and see what is the task for this series. So the first uh, task which I have covered in this series that is create a script include named test and create two functions on it named fn1 and fn2 in fn2 create two variables that is first name and the last name and assign some value to them and print those values in background script by calling fn1 function so let me summarize you like we have to create one script include their name will be the test and we have to create two functions their name will be the fn1 and fn2 and in fn2 I have to create two variables that is first name and last name and I need to assign some string value to those uh, those variables and then I I need to call this script include in the background script and there I need to call the fn1 function and in f by calling the fn1 function I need to print the values of the uh, this first name and last name variables which are in fn2 function so how we are do this that we'll see today so let's go to the instance and try to complete this task so i came to the instance now and here i need firstly we need uh, search script include and not here just open script include yeah so now if you see it got opened so now let me put some details like their name so name will be the test so i'll put the test only and uh, I don't want to make it client callable because I'm calling from the background script. So that will be server side only. So let's go here and create the function. So our first function is fn1. Then we'll create the function fn2. And there we'll create the variable first name, first underscore name, and I'll assign some value to them. Let's say I'm assigning the value like first name will be the what will be the name? Let's say any random name. Let's say uh, James, and the last name will be the Matthew, right? Last underscore name equal to Matthew. Yes. And I need to call this fn2 function using the fn1. So here we need to return this function. Return this this dot fn2.
and I need to return those values as well. So if you know like if we having the multiple variables so we can store in the object and that object we can return it right. So we'll create one object where obj equal to and there we'll instead of the variable I'll just put like obj dot object dot first name like obj dot so what will happen like we have created the object uh, we have created object in object only we are pushing the first name and last name we have stored and now we return this object return json dot stringify obj So now all set here like we have created two variables and I need to uh, print those two variables value in the script include. So if you see I am calling this fn2 function using the fn1 function and here I have used the this dot fn2 means this is the like this uh, keyword we have used for object referencing purpose. So now we just save it. Let's in one more tab open the background script as well. So let's here type background. So here just you need to call the script include. So what we'll do, we'll create one object let's say um, any object you can create the gr object only gr and new and then uh, our script include name so what will be the script include name so that is global dot test so i'm just copying it here and then after that i need to call the function so i'll just call the function so for calling the function, we'll write gr dot fn one fn one right. Then because I when we calling the fn one, I'm uh, this uh, fn one function calling the fn two function. In fn two, we are returning one object. So if we try to print the fn1 let's first see what we are getting when we what we are getting when we calling the fn1 function so if you see we are getting the like values in the json format so we need to parse it this json format right so for parsing this what we'll do we'll store in one of the variable so I'm just storing one variable where val equal to gr dot fn1. Okay. And after that, I'll just parse this uh, JSON object. So I'll just create one more variable that where answer. You can create any one. I just created an answer where answer equal to and JSON dot parse. And then parse the variable name. And after that, just print the first name and last name. So how we'll print like answer dot first underscore name. And like that, we'll print the last name as well. let's run the script and see the output see we are getting the first name as james and last name as a matthew and same we are passing it here so 
like that we have to accomplish this task like uh, how to like we are calling see if you see here like how, how the hierarchy is there like we have created first the script include then we have created fn1 function in fn1 function we are calling the fn2 function and that in fn2 function we have created one object in object we have stored the first name and the last name and then we are returning in the json format right that we are doing and then after that here we have calling the script include if you know the server side syntax of calling script include so like that we are calling calling the script include in server side here we are not using any glide ajax this type of things okay so we are just simply we have to create one object or and then we just uh, call the script include name and then we call the function as well like this so like that uh, we have to do this task okay so if you uh, i think you have uh, understand so if you have any feedback please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all